this is something which is uniquely me and I feel quite proud of it. I'm an artist probably because, because I enjoy it, because I enjoy painting, and, um, but also because it's a good outlet for expressing emotions and feelings and just getting it out, getting it out there. And, yeah, mostly and it, it gives me a bit of a space where it's time out from the world and for, up from other things that are happening in my life, maybe things that are a bit stressful, things that are not so good. It just gives me a time to get away by myself and just think about nothing but the painting and um, I find it distracting and relaxing. The painting is my creative place. <laughs> I try all different things, but people looking at my paintings over the last few years tell me I do have a definite style. I suppose it's mostly colours. I, I love colours and I just like finding the right colours and it's fairly bold and fairly big. Um, I don't like tiny minute details. I don't like especially drawing a picture first. I like to just put the paint on and just see where it takes me. Uh, I like poetry, I love to read poetry and um, I, without being morbid, I, I love the deaf poets, the ones who talk about death and just describe death as a being, like approaching the door, taking people away. I do tend to be a bit of a melancholy, um, <laughs> reflective person and just a bit affected by um, things that happen around me, especially negative things. At the moment I've been um, reading a lot of psalms and psalms are very much like poetry and they're just the, I find that poetry lifts your spirit, you know, just to read poetry just lifts you up from the mundane every day and just um, get your imagination going. And the Bible is very poetic and um, it's just so descriptive, you know, you get these mind pictures and straight away I want to put all these pictures onto a painting, but you can't put everything onto one painting, so I've got a feeling that there'll be a bit of a series of paintings in this, the more recent work. That's the direction it's taking at the moment. And I think that's probably got a lot to do with the death of my mother, where you start to think, you know, what happens after someone dies and, and that's sort of grown from those kind of thoughts and um, I'm particularly interested at the moment in the wonderful descriptive language in Revelations in the Bible that just describes just amazing things like in the in a painting, the painting I'm doing now there's um, it describes horsemen, like a red horse and a pale horse and a pale pale rider and all this sort of fantasy things. The sort of thing that you see in a lot of movies now, special effects and that sort of thing. You know, like um, Sleepy Hollow, the horsemen, I kind of think of that when I'm reading Revelations and about these horsemen and, you know, some of them are holding swords and some are holding scales and have different meanings to things and I'm d just really trying to express that dramatic side of things in the spiritual context but more the, the drama and the feeling I'm trying, trying to get there. What I'm thinking is I'd like the people to come in and look at it and just kind of think, oh, I wonder where that's come from, you know, what was she thinking at the time or maybe seeing just something a little bit different in it from every other artist. Looking at it and having a pleasing feeling with the colours and you know, straight away I think sometimes what grabs people is they look at it and just see the colours to start with and think, oh, that's pleasing. And then they look more deeply into the painting and think about what it's about and what it's saying. Yeah, they do tell stories, but sometimes they don't tell the whole story. They might just give a small amount of that story or a little bit of insight. I think there are a lot of people you can classify as geniuses who are very creative. But I don't think it necessarily everyone who creates is a genius. The greatest satisfaction is knowing that somebody else has appreciated your painting. 
it, and usually that's shown in the way of someone buying a painting or just being able to exhibit your paintings. But um, unfortunately a whole lot of effort has to go into that and even artists who are quite well known, they've still got to keep on promoting and showing and, um, and even without the, the limitations of being a, not a well person, whether you're ill or you're not. Um, it's a process where you, as you mature, I think you just, you do become more confident and mm. you care less what people think and you become more yourself and are happy to live with yourself.